All right, guys, we're doing brakes on a 2016 Nissan Altima. It's a quick step-by-step -step thing. Um, I'll put the brake pads in the description below. Here's the part number. Just click on the link. It'll take you right to it. All right. Um, obviously, get it jacked up in the air. Take your tires off. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and get the brake pads prepped. Little flathead screwdriver. Just want to pop these back plates off. They have a little bit of glue on them. It's kind of like shucking an oyster, but go ahead and get those metal plates off. Now it comes with some Molly coat um, in the package. I got a can of it though. You're gonna get the Molly coat on the back of the pads, between the plates and the pads, not on the plates because all that'll do is collect dirt. So right on in between the plates and the pads. There we go. And then we're going to put these plates back on. These pads. Like so. Get all four of them back on. And then we're all prepped out, ready to go. We go to the car. And uh, there's two bolts. You got one on the bottom right here. And you got one up top right here. But we're only going to break out from the bottom one, I think. Let me just take that one. I've already broken it free. Let me get that off. And then we should be able to flip right up. And then I'm just going to get a zip tie or something. And I'm going to tie it off to the, uh, you know, to anything over here. Just keep it up like that. All right, grab pads off. We're going to need one of these back in the back here. I've got a special caliper tool. It just screws in and pushes it. You can use a C-clamp. Really, all you need is a big pair of vice uh, channel locks and just squeeze it in. But I'm going to go ahead and use this guy. Just turn it in. If you want one of these tools, just ask me. I'll look it up for you. Put a link in the description for you. Just, just message me. Message me with any questions you got. All right. I'm going to get that thing all the way in. There it is, and then pull it out. Get this other pad off, like so. That's out of the way. Then we're gonna go ahead and get these on. Um, we're gonna get the top in first. Sorry. Get the top in first, hopefully. Like so. Get the bottom in. This guy's gotta go down in there too. Oh. Two hands are kind of required, but we got to get this down in there and then this one up in here. Hold on, let me. So you can see, you kind of got to get it in there and here. You really got to get this one just pushed in and this one pushed in as well. It's catching on that, I think. Uh, we'll get a little flat head in here and pry up a little bit to where this goes in. All right, so this tab actually goes on the outside like that. And this goes all the way in. This side goes all the way in. Then you got to do exactly the same thing on the back side. Kind of a pain in the ass, but, you know, the back side's a real, real pain in the ass because you can't see what you're doing. Let's, let's get it all lined up. And you just got to push this one tab down where it goes right, right there on the back side to get it to go in and it goes in no problem easy peasy just like so and then this will go back down on it we're just going to cut the zip ties and get something to cut them with pop that back down on it Push this one in a little bit to get it on there. Boom, tighten that bolt back in. Again, 13 millimeter. Tighten it down and go to the other side. Do the same thing as you just did on this side. And it's ready to go. Tires on. You'll have to pump the brakes a couple times to get these tightened on. You don't have to bleed them or anything. You're ready to go. 
All right, guys, this helped you out in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I'll put the parts in the description below. Just click the link. Peace.